Hi, everyone. Welcome to Ozark's First Fast and Local. I'm meteorologist Natalie Nunn. We're glad that you're with us today. Well, it was a Sunday afternoon stroll, and it drew a lot of attention in the small town of Ava. Take a look at this. A black bear cub was caught running around the square towards the post office. Missouri Department of Conservation agent Mark Henry said it. he started receiving calls about the bear around 1.30 yesterday afternoon, and his last call came in around 4. Henry guesses the young cub to that he was hungry and following his nose for a good meal. He also believes the cub to be around one and a half years old and about 80 pounds. While seeing a bear cub is uncommon in the Ozarks, the bear population is on the rise around the area. They're seeing a growth of about 9% per year since 2020. The Conservation Department reminds everyone to stay bear aware and the number one rule do not feed the bears. Now we have more information on this. If you head to our website, OzarksFirst.com, taking a look outside. This is on Tuesday afternoon, and we're seeing the remnants of Burl already on this tower cam. It is a rainy day across the area, and we're going to continue to see rain as we head into your Tuesday as well. Rain moving through. I'm going to go ahead and zoom it out so you get an idea of exactly the culprit. And it is bear. It's moved well inland uh, into Texas, and we're starting to see thunderstorm mornings as well as a few uh, flood watches already in place because we expect a lot of rain as barrel continues to make its way up north. I hate to say barrels barreling this way to us, but it's really kind of what it is. If you see trapping the tropics, that area of low pressure, which is what a hurricane is, will be moving through close to Missouri Arkansas state line by Tuesday at 1 p.m. Now, before that happens, though, we do think we're going to see the chance for severe weather. We cannot rule out tornadoes with this. So we'll be on standby by midnight tonight onward looking at the threat for severe weather. Let's go ahead and time it out. We'll see the chance for rain continuing to stream in from the south. This is at 1.30 a.m. when the chance starts to kind of increase as barrel moves closer. That continues as we head into early Tuesday with the heaviest of rain expected before lunchtime. And then that should move on to our east. And we should dry out nicely for your Wednesday. But we're talking about a lot of rain with this. How much? Two to three inches for sure for our eastern counties. Not out of the question, realm of possibility. And then we'll see probably one inch north of I-44. Less, there's going to be a really distinct cutoff with this. So you can see right here on that map. Really distinct cutoff moving through the area right along I-44, honestly. But with that, we do have a flood watch through Tuesday night because of the rain that is expected. Um, we don't see a lot of rain like this in the month of July. So we'll take it, we'll bank it up, and hopefully it won't cause too many problems as we head into your Tuesday and Wednesday mornings. Well, we have more on that little bear cub in Ava. Go to our website, OzarksFirst.com. We also have more on the information of when was the last time we saw remnants of a hurricane move through the Ozarks. It happens more than you'd think. That's also on OzarksFirst.com. We'll see you tonight, color 10 at 5, 6, and 10, and on Fox 49 at 6, 30, and 9.